Hi and welcome back to Sasha's Sense. If you're new here, I'm Sasha. On this channel, I mostly do fragrance reviews. So if you love that type of content, I really do hope you'll take a minute to subscribe and of course become part of my fragrance family. If you're a current subscriber, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really appreciate your continued support. I want to have a lot of fun because I decided to do something that is different for me and that is layering. And over the last few weeks, I've been creating some combinations that have been a lot of fun. There's been a lot that have been like a fail, a lot of very interesting and kind of crazy combinations. But out of all the combinations and layering I've done, these are my five favorite combinations and I'm so excited to share them with you. I would love to know, do you guys layer your fragrances? If you do, what do you layer together? Let me know in the comments because this really is fun for me and I wanna figure out some other combinations that maybe are working great for you guys. And then if any of you have any of the fragrances I'm talking about today and you try my combinations, give me your honest input. Let me know if you think it's a great combination or if you think I'm literally crazy. And that's okay to say, hey, I didn't like that combination. That does not work. But to me, I think they're absolutely mind-blowing and fabulous. But I could be wrong. Everybody has their own opinion and their own taste in fragrances. So we're just going to have fun with this. If you're a guy, you're in luck. I have some unisex combinations here that will work perfectly. They're right down the middle, not too masculine, not too feminine. So we're good. Grab a cup of coffee, maybe a glass of wine so that we can get right on into it. Now, the first fragrance in this combination that I'm gonna talk about is Delina. And this is very bright. It's very, in my opinion, very feminine. You've got some gorgeous notes. You've got lychee, rhubarb. You've got some nutmeg, so it has a little bit of spiciness in there. Then you've got this rose, which is very reminiscent of like that Turkish delight. There's also some vanilla and incense, which gives this fragrance a little bit of smokiness. Now, what I thought would be a really nice layering combination was to add Sea Intense. And this is the 2021 version the opening of Delina with that rhubarb and that lychee mixes so well with the black currant syrup, which is really sweet, jammy. This also has rose, and then it also has some added notes of benzoin. Ah, oh, and then you get patchouli. Can I just tell you how absolutely gorgeous this smells together? It is ultra feminine. It also smells a little bit mysterious. It's seductive smelling. The combination of notes work together seamlessly, beautifully. They complement each other. It performs exceptionally well. You're going to get past an arm's length. You're, it's going to have this beautiful trail. People are going to be wanting to know what you're wearing. And then the longevity is absolutely outstanding. It lasts a long time. It's just an all around beautiful combination. So guys, if you have Delina and you have C Intense, the 2021 version, let me know your thoughts on this. I think this is just absolutely phenomenal. So I could be crazy. Just let me know in the comments. All right. This one will maybe get a few of you scratching your heads, this next layering combination, but trust me, it works really, really well. And the first fragrance in this combo is Replica by The Fireplace. Okay, this is definitely a very smoky, very heavy type of fragrance that will make you feel like you are sitting outside by a bonfire and that you're getting the smoke that just surrounds you like a blanket. And I love that. It evokes this memory of when I was younger sitting by the bonfire with all of our family and friends and I just love it. It has cloves, there's some chestnut accords, some guyac wood, vanilla, some Peru balsam, and that Peru balsam really, really stands out in here. And it's just an all around really nice fragrance. Reminds me of like, just, you know, you can be sitting there roasting marshmallows and enjoying your time with your friends. But then you throw in Black Opium Extreme. Oh my gosh, it has this coffee that's really strong in here. And just the way it blends with the other notes, 
Now you're sitting by a bonfire, sipping on a coffee. There's some cacao in here, so that chocolate. Maybe you're making some s'mores. There's jasmine, a little bit of bourbon vanilla, and some patchouli. Now what happens with this combination, which I find to be extremely interesting, is that very smoking vibe to this fragrance tones down a great deal. You're still getting that smokiness, but it's a lot more tame. You actually get a little more sweetness now to this fragrance. Now this is a great fragrance for a guy or girl to wear. It is right down the middle, not too feminine, not too masculine, done perfectly. It is gonna turn some heads. It is a stunning fragrance. That combination is to die for. Try it, let me know your thoughts, but I love this performance-wise, fabulous. Lasts a long, long time on your clothes, on your skin, projects beautifully. So if this smokiness has bothered you in the past, maybe you have this fragrance that is just too smoky, trust me, try it out and let me know. Moving right along to the next combination is we're gonna start with Hypnotic Poison. And this is the Eau de Toilette, this is by Dior. This has a really nice plum. It, it's not overly sweet, but done just right. And it mixes with this jasmine. You're getting some hints of coconut, some vanilla. But what really stands out with this particular fragrance is the almond accord. It has this nuttiness to it. There's also some sandalwood. Now, a lot of people find this fragrance to smell like Play-Doh. I think it's that vanilla with that almond combination in here that would maybe create a sense of maybe Play-Doh, but we can change all that. Fever by Jimmy Choo. It has this plum that's much juicier, a lot fruitier. It's very ripe. There's some lychee in here as well as some jasmine. And then you're getting vanilla coffee, hazelnut, and sandalwood. So you're getting some more nuttiness from that hazelnut, but with that coffee, that combination, it creates a really nice, very well-balanced fragrance. It has a little bit of a powderiness to it. The performance-wise, it projects nicely, lasts a long time on your skin, is different enough to where someone will be very curious, wanting to know what you are wearing. So if you have those two, try them out. All right, moving right along, we're gonna go with one that is also very, very smoky. And in my opinion, this fragrance is very masculine. And that's a Ben Fume by Tom Ford. This has that Palo Santo in here. It has some incense, lots of leather. There's a little bit of rose, some Gaiac wood. I like wearing this one. I think it's really, really nice. Yes, it does lean more masculine, but that's okay. There's many masculine fragrances that women can wear. It's just a matter of preference, what you feel comfortable in. But it also has some Gaiac wood and some ebony tree in here. What I combine this with, now you guys are probably really going to be looking at me like I'm crazy, but trust me. Scandal by Jean-Paul Gaultier. There's something in this fragrance that just complements a Ben Fume so, so well. They all shine, all the notes shine. They don't outshine each other. They all work beautifully. And what it is, I think, why they work so well together is because you've got such a strong woody opening, you add this sweet honey with some peach and caramel. There's a little bit of orange in here, some jasmine, hints of licorice and patchouli. This is a great unisex one, and I really do recommend you try that, especially those of you, maybe women that have the Aben Fume and you just, maybe it's too much for you. Try it with your Scandal and see what you think. I think you will be pleasantly surprised with how gorgeous this is. Performance, great. Longevity, fabulous. It projects beautifully. People are gonna get wafts of this. It's just really, really nice. We're going into our very last combination, which is gonna start with the Le Interdit or the Parfum by Givenchy. This is a really nice feminine fragrance. It opens with a lovely pear accord, which is slightly sweet, not overly sweet. You're getting some bergamot and then some soft hints of some jasmine, but then you're gonna get a lot of tuberose as well as vanilla. 
and I like that these particular notes stand out, especially if you love tuberose, you're really going to enjoy it with this combination. And then you have slight hints of patchouli. Now, I really like Le Interdit. I would like to see a little more sweetness to it. So th I thought it would be really nice to take the Laura Mercier Au Gramont, Ambre Veni, or the Toilette, and combine it. Ah. Oh. Okay, I have always loved Le Interdit, but adding Ambre Veni to this, they could honestly take these two perfumes, combine it into one, and package it, and it would do extremely well. Now, the Ombre Veni, it has some orchid in there. There's coconut, some almond, and then you have some vanilla and amber. I really, really recommend you guys try this one. I absolutely love, love this combination. I think it's one of my favorite out of the five. They're all really good, but this one for sure is incredible. Performance, fabulous. It projects really well, lasts on the clothes, lasts on your skin a long, long time. It's very, very pretty, very feminine, and I guarantee that you will get so many compliments with this combination. It's outstanding. But anyway, there you have my layering combinations. I really do hope you enjoyed them. If you have any of these fragrances that I mentioned today, try the combinations and let me know your honest, honest thoughts. I won't be offended. Just let me know your thoughts. I really appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch this video. Enjoy the rest of your day. And remember, one spray will literally change your day. Have a good one, and I'll see you again real soon.